Surprise! Abracadabra. Part 13. Well, a few developments have happened. And as I said to you before, it was an ongoing story. The story has moved on a little bit. So, as so many of you were upset it was sort of finishing, okay, I'll give you the latest. Or nearly the latest, because it has gone on quite a bit. We left it that Hans and Lando, the lady boy, were heading south for a trip. The lawyers had sent letters to Gretel, the former girlfriend. She had responded saying she's going to furnish the lawyers with more documentation. And Hans had got his retirement visa extension, retirement extension on his non-immigrant home for one year, sorted. Everything was in place. Off Hans goes with Lando and they get down to Chumpon and then down to Siratani and across to uh, Koh Samui. Ten days, it may be, maybe it's two weeks have passed. They're off back off Siratani, uh, Koh Samui, Siratani and thinking about going to Krabby. Phone call comes in to Hans from Griwok, not Gretel, Griwok, the sister, and says that um, Gretel has taken legal advice and spoken to the various people and she has decided that she's going to to finish everything, she's going to make him an offer. He's got 24 hours to respond. If not, then she's going to go to court. She, Griewok says that Gretel is offering you the car, which was 700,000 baht. No furniture, no money, nothing from the houses, but she will offer you three months free rent in one of the houses as a token to smooth the way and that's it he must respond within 24 hours to Griwok um, directly not through the lawyers if he's going to go through the lawyers then they'll just go to court they will just go to court <laughs> but it's a step it's a step forward he's about to go to crab making he talks to Lando Lando's up to you, none of my business. He gets on the phone to the lawyers, talks to the lawyer, gets through. And the lawyer says, well, it could be a bluff. We've had no documentation from her, it's been two weeks. The car you said cost 700,000 baht, what it's worth, whose name it is in, we don't know. Um, Right now, your bill with us for your uh, visa extension and letters so far is about 30,000 baht. The car's worth, what, 700,000? The accommodation for three months is probably worth 30,000. You're gonna lose 1.3 million, 1.3 million baht if you take that deal. And if you do do that deal, you're gonna end up signing a bit of paper to walk away. He said, but, as I've said to you before, if we go to court, being that you're not Thai, being that the paperwork is quite sketchy, we don't have all the facts, just to get to court could take months and months while we keep asking them for documentation. They can stall and stall and stall. And in that time they can get rid of the car naturally, they could get rid of everything and even move things around as far as the houses go. We don't even know whose name they're in. You could end up with nothing. You could end up with a big court cost and our bill and lose even more money. Hans says to the lawyer, I've had a great couple of weeks. I've moved on with my new partner, having a great time. The rental car's got to go back in a, a week and a half. Um, I'm not fussed about the accommodation offer because I don't want to live in that house or one of those houses anywhere near them 
I think I'm just gonna cut my losses, take the offer of the car, and walk away. And just pay yourselves, sign whatever paper, lose the 1.3 million back, put it down as a learning curve, and walk away. And the lawyer says, okay, absolutely fine. She's mentioned to you on the phone that she doesn't want us involved, so you can do this yourself as an acceptance. You can ask them that you want that document they're gonna to prepare to be witnessed by me. So it's all above board and they'll probably be happy with that. And you'll have no recourse to anything from what's happened. So Hans said, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's do it, I'll ring them and I'll head back. We'll get the document, get the car. So can you sort me out getting the car in my name, etc.? He said, yep, okay. Put the phone down. And um, at this moment, Lando's just sort of, was being listening, and Hans is like, I think I'm gonna accept this, this, and this. And Lando's like, yeah, that sounds good, it sounds okay, we can, if we're gonna be together, we can move on. And he's like, yeah, okay. So he rings Grewalk, rings her back, tells her the deal. Okay, car, I don't want the house rental. Um, and we'll get the documents witnessed by my lawyer. I'll come back in a few days time and you get the car put in my name and we'll, we'll leave it at that. And Grewalk's, yep, okay, fantastic. So ring me when you're in the area and we'll arrange that we'll get the document done for for signing and get the card sorted out and transferred. So Gretel and Grewalk have sort of won 1.3 million baht in a few months. Hmm. Was that a wise thing to do? That's a steep learning curve, 1.3 million baht. A hell of a learning curve. Hans is starting to see a bit of Thailand. He's traveling around a bit. He's not too bad with driving around Thailand. A bit slow, but okay. He likes Lando. The fact that Lando is a lady boy and has like obviously flicked a switch on in his body and he's finding the attraction, everything aerobics, fantastic. His life's changed. He didn't really expect to be dating a lady boy, but he's starting to accept it. Lando uh, says to Hans, once this done, are we gonna be a proper couple? And are we gonna be living together? And Hans is, yes, I think, we should and we can do some exploring and his uh, earnings coming in pensions and things means he can explore a bit and he's like yeah I would like that so there's a potential happy ever after there or is there <laughs> next day they pack up head home um, they're coming up all the way from Suratani, so pretty much a day's drive with traffic and stuff. Get back up into Kanchanaburi, head to the hotel they stayed at before and check in. It's got a week left on the car, maybe just a bit more. And uh, Lando drives as well. Get into the hotel, he waits till the next morning, rings Grewalk. Grewalk says, okay, we've already delivered the letter to your lawyer. Um, if you sign it and they get it back to us, then we'll hand the car over and documentation. So he rings the lawyer. Yes, we've had the letter. It's all above board. It's fine. I've got all the car documents, everything here. All I've got to do is get you to sign this letter as witness it, hand it back to them by courier or just send it, and they'll deliver the car with keys and to um, our office or wherever you want. So Hans says, okay, I'll, can I come in this morning and do all this? And the lawyer's, yeah. Lando 
wants to disappear off back to her room and get some stuff and says to Hans, shall I move out of that room and give it up totally? And Hans said, yeah. Off Lando goes. Hans goes, lawyer, signs the paperwork. The car's gonna be delivered to the lawyer's office. Um, so the lawyer sends a bike taxi with the documentation round and the car will be there lunchtime-ish. He's got all the documentation, it's all been signed correctly, all the correct uh, paperwork and copies and everything. And the lawyer says to Hans, go off and get lunch, come back after lunch and we'll get my girl to take you around to the office uh, for transportation and get it all signed over to your name. <coughs> so, all good, it all goes smoothly. Car turns up, everything's signed, that's it, done and dusted. So now he's got two cars, so he's got to take the hire car back, maybe get a bit of a refund because he didn't take it for the whole month. And um, he rings Lando, Lando makes her way to the office and drives the um, Pajero, Hans' car, back to the hotel. Then they go into, uh, ah, via the car place, took the other car back and asked for a refund they didn't give him anything but he just handed it back and away he goes he has to know they get rid of the hire car back to the hotel and they've got the Pajero checks it all over everything's good all looks fine and uh, all clean that's it end of Gretel end of Greewalk possibly Possibly not. Time will tell. Um, so there they are in a hotel. He's got all his stuff in the car. They now need to find somewhere to live. Where are they going to go in the country? Where are they going to live? What are they going to do? It's like a new adventure. Lando's not working now. Hans is retired. He's got, what, he's got his car. He's got nearly a million baht in the bank for his visa. He's gonna leave that there. He's got three million baht back in Germany. He's sorted. He's lost a fair bit. Would you have given up all that? Would you have gone on to court fighting? Very tricky in a foreign country, being a foreigner. German against Thai. Lando and Hans spend a few days at that hotel thinking about where they want to go. Hans doesn't really know the country. Lando knows a little bit. Hans contacts his friend. wonder who that is. Starts asking about areas to live and has to start thinking about what is going to be good for him. Does he want to live by the sea? Does he want to live inland? Does he want up north a bit cooler? And this is where we will leave it for now. They are thinking about their future and what they're going to do. So right now, at this point, at that point where we're leaving this video, it's happy ever after. <laughs> I won't say, to, I'm not going to spoil anything. At this point on the video, we're probably a month ago. So there's further developments in the last month. I'm going to make you wait a few weeks before continuing. Um, the story and I'm also working on some other stuff so there you go part 13 another final episode for now <laughs> take care see you on the next one bye for now